okay now what we will do is uh, we will um, uh, before jumping into the circuits logic families uh, each families will be having their own circuits before that i wanted to give you characteristics of logic families based on what parameters you will judge those logic family circuits uh, or how you decide which one is better or not is dependent on these characteristics these are logic family characteristics on which we judge a circuit uh, of logic family okay so there is fan out how much fan out is having uh, a particular circuit is having how much fan is in is required uh, what will be the propagation delay of a circuit how much power dissipation it is uh, taking what is figure of merit voltage and some voltage and current parameters like uh, uh, output uh, high current output low current input high current input low current output high voltage output low voltage output uh, input high voltage input low voltage these are the parameters current and voltage parameters that we will look and depending upon that you will be learning uh, noise margin something called noise margin very important parameter it is also called as noise immunity then the last one is operating temperature uh, what temperature range is required for the proper operation of the circuit what will be the noise margin noise margin means like how much uh, variation in uh, voltages or currents uh, can be tolerable by a circuit okay so that its normal operation will not change then voltage and current parameters that whatever we will learn will apply here only uh, noise, noise margin then what is figure of merit is basically a product of these two we'll uh, see uh, in detail then power dissipation how much it is taking for its operation the circuit and propagation delay how much time it is uh, taking to calculate the output and how many uh, fan in and fan out means how many inputs uh, you can collect uh, to a particular gate uh, or how many outputs you can collect to a particular gate so these are fan out and fan in so these are the parameters basically on which you judge a logic family okay whether it is good or not or you can compare with other logic family circuits so that's why we study this and these parameters will uh, they are uh, numerical in in an uh, value wise so you will be able to get a clear picture uh, which one is better in terms of the other one uh, and uh, 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 depending upon the application uh, you will use that one the circuit okay so each family each circuit will have these parameters and we'll uh, we'll look each one of them in detail right now then we're gonna jump to circuits so the first one is uh, fan out uh, fan out is a property of a gate uh, which drives another gate okay which are in front of them so number of inputs that can be connected to output of a gate without degrading gates normal operation this gate is means this gate output of a gate okay so you have some circuit given so output of one gate is given as the input of another gate so the output uh, from which uh, um, the output is coming out the property uh, fan out is the property of that gate for example here you can see this is the gate I am just taking 9 gates, you can take any gates, it is not applicable to this gate only. So overall I am telling uh, the property. So here you can see this is the gate, the output of this gate driving the inputs of these gates, right? The, this guy is driving these two guys. In terms of current I am talking, okay? So if this guy will not provide enough current to these guys, it it will be it will not operate properly okay so the number of inputs that can be connected to this guy the output of the gate without degrading its performance this guy's performance this guy's normal operation that is called as fan out right this is also called as loading factor because the output of the gate can supply limited current if the current will exceed above a certain value it ceases to operate properly what ceases to operate the, uh, the gate from which output is coming out okay so from that output current will also come out and it will given to the different gates as an input so it can only provide certain amount of current if you will keep on adding more number of inputs 
or more number of gate uh, if you uh, keep on attaching with the output of the gate then it will not provide enough current to all of them and hence it operation will be uh, ceases okay it will not be operate properly so here you can see an example if i connect two gates to the output of this gate and it is providing 2 ampere of current at its output and uh, these guys are gates require 1 ampere of current each for its proper operation then this is perfect fine okay 2 ampere 1 ampere will be given to this guy 1 ampere will be given to this guy and this is fine so here now if you will see this guy is providing 3 ampere of current at its output and each of them these two guys require 1 ampere of current for its proper operation still it is fine right 3 ampere it is providing 1 ampere 1 ampere it will give still has it 1 ampere in his hand right so it's fine means uh, normal but here you can see if you will attach one more gate which requires 1 ampere of current for its, uh, its uh, normal operation what will happen this guy is providing output of 2 ampere and you have connected 3 gates which require 1 ampere of current each of them means total 3 ampere of current should be coming out of this but it is able to give 2 ampere of current only hence it will be overloaded okay you can, you will call that that this gate is overloaded because it can supply limited amount of current that is 2 ampere but you have connected so many gates each of them requires 1 ampere that this guy will not be able to drive okay so hence you will be calling it as um, overloaded this gate is overloaded and hence it will affect the operation of the circuit okay so fan out is a number how many gates it can divide uh, uh, drive okay in this case the fan out is uh, it could have been two because one a one a uh, one ampere one ampere was required by uh, two gates uh, it can drive two gates you can say with the, the two ampere of current it is coming out but you have connected three that's why it is violating it here you can connect uh, here the fan out is again uh, uh, you can say uh, two but fan out can be three right if uh, one ampere of current will be required by each of the gate right how i'm calculating is i'm dividing how much current i am giving and how much is required by the gates okay so the fan out could be three but here it is two right three how because if all of the gates will require uh, three gates we will connect three gates will require one ampere of current okay then the fan out will be three right and it, it should give three ampere of currents also so i'm just giving you a physical meaning uh, how uh, what the fan out is fan out is the property of this gate who is driving the other gates this gate this gate this is the property fan out is the property of these gates and uh, how many inputs you can uh, how many uh, uh, at the how many grades you can attach it to the output of the uh, ga uh, logic gate so so that is what fan out is and you can't keep on adding lot of gates and it depends upon how much current is provided by this output of the gate and how much current these guys needs okay depending upon that you define fan out so this is the case um, when when you have output of the logic gate as logic 1 if you will have logic 0 these current will have opposite directions so that case also i will tell you okay for now i just wanted to give you a feel how many gates you can connect at the input of a uh, at the output of a uh, one gate okay so slightly confusing uh, but i'll uh, i'll uh, explore more so that you will be able to say it okay so it's a property of these guys these guys who are driving the other gates okay now here you can see i have generalized it so first we are taking high state fan out there is something called low state fan out as well so high state fan out is when your output of the gate is logic one or high okay so the output of this gate okay because this guy is driving the other gates so if the output of this gate is high this is what the scenario will look like high state fan out will be okay so you have some current that is i subscript oh and the input currents to other gates are i subscript ih i subscript ih i subscript ih means 
what does this mean these gates require iih current for its normal operation okay this all these three gates require equal amount of current iih and this guy is giving ioh current this guy so how the fan out will be calculated ioh divided by i i in h okay so that is how you can calculate if you will be able to see it means like if you are providing three amperes here uh one one ampere each one of them demands then fan out will be three right three divided by one is three and you can also connect other gates and accordingly the current will reduce here and loading will increase so but you have to make sure that you should not exceed the current should not exceed these guys means uh, how much current is coming and you are drawing more current then it will be overloaded this guy will be overloaded okay so fan a uh, uh, high state fan out is the property of this guy okay so similarly you have a low state fan out as well that i'll be telling you now this is one one formula but if you will have different currents let's say if you have i h1 i h2 i s3 likewise you have then what will be the fan out so what will be the value of fh in this case fh will depend on the currents being drawn by the uh, these gates okay current drawn by um uh, what you can say well, let's say 1 2 3 uh, by 1 2 3 gates okay so basically you can't calculate it just you have to make sure that these guys want to draw so much current that this guy is not able to provide okay else it will be a case of overloading and if there will be a overloading uh, the operation of this circuit will be um, affected okay so this this formula is valid when all the currents are same being drawn by the gates other gates from this gate okay and uh, uh, this value is greater than one uh, you might have seen uh, ioh will be obviously greater than i i i h1 h2 or h3 or any of the i's okay because these guys is split into the uh, other um, gates input current so this value will be greater than or it can be equal to as well equal to well one or greater than one but desirable is the higher the value is the better it is uh, why it is better because uh, you will be able to drive more uh, more number of gates so you won't need any additional gates for driving those uh, gates okay you can do it by single gate only so that's why it is better to have a more fan out uh, more number of gates you can drive so this is uh, about high state fan out similar in the similar may, way you will have low state fan out as well uh, but uh, you will have uh, different direction of current and uh, uh, there you will be uh, having this guy will be sucking current from the other gates okay because low voltage will not give current low voltage will draw current so there the output will of the logic this uh, this output of this gate will be logic zero okay so hopefully everything is being clear and this formula is clear you don't have to mug up uh, don't do like i i h divided by i o h i mean you can see it right why you can't do it i mean i o h you can see it will be more i h one and it makes sense means you are you are just dividing the big number with a small number to calculate how many gates will be connected i mean physically you should be able to see this uh, formula and uh, you should not have to mug up okay uh, now let me give you the same analysis for low state fan out it will still be called as fan out it depends on what is the output of this gate if it is a uh, one then this kind of scenario will be there if it is output is zero i'll show you the next okay now in the similar way you can see low state fan out as well still we are looking at the property of this gate only but with different perspective how different the output of gate is this time is logic zero here output is logic zero instead of logic one what happens to fan out fan out will be in this fashion now since the output here is zero it will not provide current to other uh, gates it will draw current from them okay 
so these guys will be the driving uh, gates now and this guy is the sinking gate okay but the values you can see is same uh, instead of h i have just written l okay because it is for low state and the direction i have changed this guy is still output this guy is still inputs okay only the directions have changed so i i l this is input current when output is zero input current this guy and output is zero means output of this gate is zero similarly i o l is output current when output is zero output current output of this guy current when output of this gate is only zero right so that's how you have to be clear so uh, in this case uh, you can have other gates as well and from there current will be coming uh, i have just shown three uh, gates okay so fan out for low state l means low state i o l divided by i i l in this case i o l will be greater than i i l right uh, it will sum up and it will uh, go to this gate right so you can see that you can't provide a lot of current to this uh, gate because uh, it may affect the operation so you have to provide a certain amount of current only okay and um, this is how the fan out will be calculated in this case and uh, what else will happen uh, if you will have il1 il2 il3 uh, like in a high state you ha you had different current then it will depend upon the currents only you can't calculate f out uh, fan out because it depends upon the current you have to make sure that you are not providing more than what is required by this gate okay the current uh, so hopefully it is clear to you and why this formula is like this now you can have fan out for low state as well as fan out for high state so total fan out will be fan out will be and let me call it as a fan out will be equal to minimum of fan out in high case fan out in low case okay why minimum because we have to satisfy both the uh, fan outs right fan out for low state as well as phone out, fan out for high state and that will happen when you will select minimum of this okay so you can calculate for low state when the output is zero you calculate the fan out that is fl and when the output is one you calculate the fan out that is fh uh, whatever will be minimum uh, will be the fed fan out of overall circuit okay so that is how the fan out is defined in the similar way you will have fan in as well okay fan out what fan out tells how many number of gates you can connect at the output of a particular gate maximum right similar way you will have fan in uh, how many connects uh, how many inputs you can connect to a particular gate that is what will tell you fan in okay that is also a property uh, we look uh, in a logic family circuits okay so let's move on to the next property that fan in